vaccinating would be a better choice for us. A measles outbreak spreading quickly, and some doctors are blaming parents who don't want to vaccinate their kids. It is spreading and quickly closing in on Wisconsin. Now, right now, there are 84 cases in 14 different states. And if we take a look at the map of the current situation with the numbers, uh, that's actually more than the U.S. usually has in an entire year looking at those numbers. And Wisconsin is surrounded by states with at least one confirmed case, Illinois, Michigan, and now Minnesota, where a University of Minnesota student has tested positive with the virus. We asked on our 12 News Facebook page whether you're worried and quickly received nearly 100 comments. Most of you agreed with Kim, who wrote, vaccinate your children. It is extremely selfish to put others at risk due to your ignorance. But there were some like Greg who wrote, no way, no vaccines and my kids. 12 News' Christina Palladino joins us from the Web Center. Christina, this debate is filled with people who have strong opinions on both sides. It sure is, Kathy. And as you said, just from that simple question we asked on 12 News' Facebook page, it got people all fired up over whether to vaccinate their children. Even some health care providers acknowledge it can be a scary decision for parents. But what we do know is that many of these diseases are coming back fast and furious. Cheryl Janicki only vaccinated her 19-month-old daughter, Neva, once for polio, but is now strictly anti-vaccines. The more research I did and the more people that I met that didn't vaccinate, I was exposed to a lot more information that convinced me that not only delayed, but maybe not vaccinating would be a better choice for us. Cheryl says although she and her pediatrician have different views on immunizations, he still agrees to treat her daughter. He hasn't questioned me thus far, but I think maybe as we get towards school age, he would probably go, no, now you have to. A new report shows about 25% of pediatricians are now dismissing anti-vaccine families from their practices because of ethical conflicts. And with the latest measles outbreak quickly spreading, the fight over whether to vaccinate is flaring up again. But doctors say there's no debate. Not getting vaccinated is contributing to these diseases coming back in the United States. It just, it is. And I think what's frustrating is there's no science that supports that this vaccine is harmful. Brookfield chiropractor Dr. Matt Fromm has been practicing for more than 10 years and doesn't vaccinate his own child. He believes in the parent's right to choose what's best and not be judged for it. To say that someone's being you know, irresponsible when they're making that decision, I just don't believe that's an accurate statement in most of the parents that I've dealt with. Now, in Wisconsin, you can opt out of vaccines for health, religious, or personal reasons at daycares and schools. And also, if you're concerned about the measles outbreak and want more information, just head to our website, WISN.com. Kathy and Craig. All right, Christina, thanks. The CDC recommends that all children get two doses of the measles vaccine, starting with the first dose at the age of uh, one, and then the second dose uh, when four through six years of age, whenever you get the chance there. Doctors say if you have the vaccine, you have a 1% chance of getting measles. Those without the vaccine have a 90% chance of catching it.